The latest numbers from consumer watchdog groups show inflation eased in May for a second straight month. But many Americans are still seeing those high prices at the grocery store and even the gas pump. KXAN Morning anchor Sally Hernandez talked to an expert on simple ways you can save. We have David Friendly, the deputy editor of AARP, talking to us about how we can save some money in this economy. What's your biggest takeaway, your biggest tip? So if you have a bank savings account and you're still earning 1%, now's the time to switch to a higher interest rate, a higher interest savings account and save 4 to 5%. And over the course of a year, for example, $10,000 invested at 5% will bring you $500 as opposed to just $100 at 1%. So it's just a, you get a bigger bang for your buck. You bet. And we'll be um, using that money, I'm sure, a lot. Spending might be up this summer. What are some of the best things, David, that I should buy used instead of new? Well, we found that uh, some of the best savings are is on used sporting goods. Another great way to save money is on cell phones. If you don't have to have the latest and greatest, you can buy a slightly used, fully refurbished, completely under warranty cell phone that works perfectly well, and you can save hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, let's talk about home improvement. That's going to be, I think, a really busy thing for a lot of people this summer. What are some ways that we can save on that? Yeah, we recommend that you team up with your neighbors for regular yard maintenance. So if you hire the same landscaper, several of you and your neighbors, the landscaper can save time and effort by coming to your neighborhood once, and they're likely to, to pass those savings on to you. When it comes to money in the bank, what is good or bad about maybe tapping into the 401 savings in case of an emergency? Yeah, so here's the tip that I don't see very often, but under a new rule, you can tap into your your retirement savings account up to $1,000 a year. Um, that's for your IRA or for your 401k. Uh, they've recently dropped the 10% penalty for people who are 59 and a half or younger. It has to be for an emergency, but you can cover those emergency expenses without having to pay high interest rates on a loan or putting it on your credit card. Good to know. All right, David, thank you so much for 99 ways to save. Appreciate it. With one third of global greenhouse gas emissions linked to food, Paris is now making some changes in the kitchen to feed Olympic athletes.